Hi, how's it going? When we load a texture, it typically exists in texture space. So imagine we have this image here that we've loaded and our texture coordinates are U and V or S and T and whatever, whatever sort of system that we want to use. And we might have some, you know, triangle, some space inside that texture. And we, um, we throw it out into models and various things. in the world and um, this texture might include a normal map and the thing with the normal map is we need to know how this um, texture interacts with the world in other words um, what do we have here we have a tangent vector which is along the U, we want to know what direction is that tangent vector in model space. Or, um, similarly, we have a bitangent vector, which is another tangent, which is just parallel with the V um, texture coordinate. Uh, we want to know what does that bitangent direction mean in the world space. So long story short, we have um, all the textures that we have are in tangent space and we want to know how to change how to change them to world space. Essentially this is done with a tangent by tangent normal matrix and uh, more importantly we can also go back to uh, tangent space with the inverse of that by the way we also have a normal vector and by default the in tangent space the normal vector will be you know in or out of the page Okay, so what can we do? Well, if we look here, we have, we can pick a direction. When we load in models, we, our models have uh, vertices, vertices have triangles and things and positions, and each of those have UV coordinates. So by subtracting, we can get a direction vector inside our um, model, and that maps to this direction vector here. And we can say, okay, how does that direction vector map? Well, the direction is equal to, there will be a change in U coordinate times the tangent vector plus a change in V coordinate times the bitangent vector. Okay, fair enough. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take two directions in order to set up a system of equations. So if I just had one direction, we could say, okay, uh, the direction X component, Y component, Z component, So again, let's double check this. Matrix multiplication. We have uh, delta U1 times the tangent X component, delta V1 times the bitangent X component, add those together. That gives the um, X component of the position of the direction. And similarly for Y and Z. Okay, but I'm going to, uh, so the goal is to get this tangent and bitangent. We need to know what they are. Now we can get that if we invert this matrix and this matrix will be invertible if it's square. So for that reason, we will add another direction. So we have like direction one and direction two here as well. Because remember, 
at this point, this mathematically is true, but we don't know the tangent and bitangent, and so we need to rearrange. Okay, so no problem. Okay, now this matrix here is invertible, and so we can just apply that inverse. And then the corresponding rows from this matrix multiplication will be the tangent and bitangent. Of course, um, we know how to get the inverse of a two by two. That is one over the determinant and the determinant is the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the off diagonal. And then we go ahead and swap the leading diagonal and negate the off diagonal. This should be familiar. Okay, cool. So we get the inverse, multiply it by that, and that will give us the, um, the tangent and bitangent. Um, now, why do we need, why do we need the tangent and bitangent? It's kind of not necessary to go from um, view space into tangent space. It's kind of done for us already. But uh, from, sorry, what am I saying? From tangent space into world space, kind of done for us already, but could be useful if we have some lights out here in world space to convert those lights back to tangent space and calculate lighting that way. Might be useful. Especially if we have, if we're given a normal map, we want to, um, convert that over. We want to get all the lights relative to the normal map. Okay. And it turns out there's a really good formula. Okay. So let's say we have a position which has an X, Y, and Z coordinate. We take the tangent, we put it along the first column, take the bi-tangent as the second column, and the normal as the third column. So this is the BTN matrix. We take its inverse and apply the position. So because these columns, okay, so these are orthonormal, right? The tangent, bitangent, and normal directions should all be orthogonal to each other, 90 degrees perpendicular, and we'll normalize them as well. Because they're orthonormal, the inverse of that matrix is just its transpose. And then if we look at this, well, this should be a three by one. We have for the first component, it's TX times X, TY times Y, TZ times Z. Well, that looks very similar to a dot product. And so it's the dot product of the tangent with the position. And then the Y coordinate will be the dot product of the bitangent with the position. And then the Z coordinate will be the dot product of the normal with the position. And we're not actually going to use this formula. Um, we're simply going to, so we're not going to use this formula. We're simply going to take the transpose of the TBN matrix multiplied in, but I think it's cool that it comes out so nicely. So we can almost think about it. Like we take the position and we say, how parallel is that with the tangent? How parallel is that with the bitangent and how parallel is it with the normal and it decomposes in that way anyway i thought that was cool um yeah that'll be it for now have a good one see ya bye